As of April 24th, the Russian military and the armed forces of the Donetsk People's Republic DPR and the Lugansk People's Republic LPR continue to test the defenses of Kiev's forces on several fronts without conducting any large-scale military operations. On the eastern front of Donetsk City, DPR units supported by Russian forces carry out artillery strikes on positions of the Armed Forces of Ukraine AFU, in the direction of Marinka and Avdivka. Nonetheless, no active offensive operations were carried out there. On the Lyshychansk several Donetsk front lines, LPR units are slowly pushing Kiev's forces out from their positions under the threat of encirclement. However, no major advance is expected on this front before the complete collapse of the AFU in the area. On the Izium front lines, Russian forces expanded their control in the southern direction in a bid to advance towards the towns of Slavyansk and Kramatorsk. Clashes were also reported near the towns of Pashkove, Dovhenke, and Velika Komishuvaka in the Kharkiv region, as well as near the towns of Novo Mikhailika and Marinka in the Donetsk region. In the city of Mariupol, the Russian military and DPR forces have been working to secure the liberated areas. The remnants of the Azov battalion are still besieged in the Azovstal industrial area. A direct attack on the area was suspended because the nationalists continued to hold hostages, including women and children, and also in order to minimize losses in the Russian ranks. The Russian military continued its missile strikes on high-value military targets in different regions of Ukraine. On April 24th, a strike with high-precision ground-launched missiles targeted explosive workshops of Kiev's forces near Pavlograd. The facilities were completely destroyed. Russian missiles also destroyed fuel facilities on the northern outskirts of the city of Kreminchuga. They were used for the production of fuel from an oil refinery as well as storage of petroleum products and supplied the AFU groupings in the Donbass with fuel and military equipment. At night, high-precision air-launched missiles hit six Ukrainian military facilities, including three Ukrainian strongholds and places of concentrations of manpower and military equipment, as well as three ammunition depots in the districts of Barankovo and Novaya Dimitrovka in the Kharkiv region. The Russian Aerospace Forces also attacked 56 facilities belonging to Kiev's forces. The targets included two command posts, 53 areas of concentrations of the AFU, as well as a fuel storage facility near the settlement of Novaya Dimitrovka. Up to 160 personnel were destroyed, as well as 23 armored vehicles, artillery pieces, and vehicles. The Russian artillery is reported to have carried out 967 strikes on 33 command posts, 929 strongholds and gatherings of manpower and military equipment, as well as on five warehouses of rocket and artillery weapons and ammunition. Russian air defenses shot down 13 Ukrainian drones near Mezhur Inu, Balakea, Borodoyarkoe, and Nevskoe in the Kharkiv region, as well as Voskoe and Chernobyevka in the Kirshen region.